Um, I think it was in the late 1950s that you started doing prison concerts, which you eventually <coughs> became very famous for. Mm-hmm. Um, what got you started performing in prison? Well, I had a song called Folsom Prison Blues that was a hit just before I walked the line. And um, the people in Texas heard about it at the, at the state prison and got to write me letters asking me to come down there. So I responded, and the, then the warden called me and asked if I would come down and do a show for the prisoners in Texas. And uh, so we went down, and uh, there's a rodeo at every, all these uh, shows that the prisoners have there. And in between the rodeo things, they asked me to set up and do two or three songs. So that was what I did. I did Folsom Prison Blues, which they thought was their song, you know. And uh, I walked the line, ring, um, hey, Porter, cry, cry, cry. And then the word got around on the grapevine that Johnny Cash was all right and that um, you ought to see him. So the request started coming in from other prisoners all over the United States. And uh, then the word got around. So I always wanted to record that, you know, to record a show. Because of the reaction I got, it was far and above anything I had ever had in my life. The complete explosion of noise and reaction that they gave me with every song. So then um, I came back the next year and played the prison again, the New Year's Day show. Came back again the third year and did the show. And... um, Then I kept talking to my producers at Columbia about recording one of those shows. It was so exciting. I said that the people out there ought to share that, you know, and feel that excitement too. So a preacher friend friend of mine named uh, Floyd Gressett set it up for us. And uh, Lou Robin and and a lot of other people involved at Folsom Prison. So we went into Folsom on February 11th, 1968, and recorded the show live. Before we hear uh, one of the tracks from that live album, um, tell me what it was, what kind of reaction surprised you the most when you were performing for prisoners? Well, what really surprised me was uh, any kind of prison song, I could do no wrong, you know, if it's uh, whatever, the prisoner song or, or San Quentin, the song of mine. But they felt like they could... Uh, identify with me, I suppose. I came from, I sang songs like Dark as a Dungeon or um, Bottom of a Mountain, songs about the working man and the hard life. And uh, of course, they'd been through the hard life, all of them, or they wouldn't be there. So they kind of related to all that, I guess, the the songs I chose. Uh, Very little uh, of love songs, very few. Mostly, you know, songs about the the down and outer. And so then requests started coming in for me to go to other prisons, and it got overwhelming. So I decided I would do two or three, and I wouldn't do any more. Because uh, one thing, my wife was scared to death, and the other women on the show were too, so I decided not to. It was still a great experience to get on stage and perform with those people. 